Hi, my name is Lenore Bell and I'm Director of the Library at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. Today I'll be talking about one of the items in the library's collection, a Passover Haggadah. The title is Di Haggadah des Kindes, or in Hebrew, Haggadah li Ladim, the Children's Haggadah. The Haggadah is the liturgical book that is used at the Seder, which is a festive meal and ceremony that is conducted during the Jewish holiday of Passover. The Hebrew word Haggadah actually means telling. So the text of the Haggadah includes retelling of the biblical account of the ancient Israelites enslavement in Egypt and their exodus from Egypt. This Haggadah was published in 1933 in Berlin and it's a reflection of the resilience of German Jewry at the time that they were still publishing liturgical books and other types of Judaica despite the increasing persecution by the Nazis. So let me say a few words about the cover. It's very colorful, obviously appealing to young children and it includes the opening words of a passage traditionally recited by the youngest child at the Seder, Manish Tana, or what is different about this night from all the other nights. Um, it also includes two symbols from the Passover festival, Pesach, which is the Paschal lamb, which was sacrificed in ancient times, and also Maror, which is the bitter herb that is consumed at the Seder to remember the bitterness of slavery. The book includes many beautiful illustrations and magnificent typeface, but it's also very special because it is a pop-up book. So here we have the early story of Moses, where he's placed in the river. To be found by Pharaoh's daughter. And here we have the Egyptian armies that perish when the Red Sea closes upon them. This final image is a scene of the typical family celebrating the Seder in their home. And we have a special tradition of hiding the afikoman, a piece of matzah, which is the unleavened bread consumed at the Seder. It's hidden away for the end of the ceremony to be eaten by the participants so that when they leave the ceremony, they leave with the taste of the bread of affliction in their mouths. The custom is that the afikoman is hidden, and you see it hidden right here. And then the child goes to look for it under the table and then he finds it and is rewarded in finding it. This is one of many traditions in the Seder which are intended to engage the child so that he will learn and experience the entire ceremony. This Haggadah has a very interesting provenance. It was donated to the museum by a cantor in Massachusetts named Alan Critz. Tanner Kritz manages the Geniza in his community. A Geniza is a storage where worn and damaged Jewish sacred and liturgical books are stored until they may be ritually buried. The book was given to the Cantor by a gentleman named Dr. Ernest Picard. Dr. Picard has fond memories of using this Haggadah in Germany and also in the United States. When Cantor Kritz received the book, he recognized that the destiny of this book was not to be buried, but rather to be preserved in a museum. So when he contacted us, I immediately recognized the title because we already have two copies in the museum, but it wasn't until we received the book that I realized that it had its own special story. It had a personal inscription on the inside of the front cover. The inscription was written by grandparents to their grandson, and it reads as an ethical will. This Haggadah is to teach you that you are of noble descent, and that you should honor your belief as long as life's breath is indwelling. Be assiduous, keep your modesty, be your parents' faithful child. Avoid contact with evildoers. Do not close your eyes to indigence. Hate injustice, so you will find favor in God's sight. 
One of the missions of the museum is to rescue the evidence of the Holocaust, to preserve it and to make it accessible for future generations. I like to think that this Haggadah was rescued twice. It was rescued when Dr. Picard took this very treasured book with him upon fleeing Germany. And it was rescued again when Cantor Critz recognized that it belonged in a museum where it could be studied and appreciated by visitors.